Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I want to cover on how to use Gmail API in Python. All right, so the Gmail API is, pro is probably one of the most widely used uh, Google API right now, at least in my opinion. And the Gmail API is also, in my opinion, one of the most uh, complicated API of a Google Suite product. So comparing to Google Sheets, Google Sheets is also another one that is pretty complex to use. And Gmail is probably around, probably on the same level. Anyway, I want to talk about the documentation first. So here, let me go to the home page of the documentation. I want to navigate to guides page. So from the guides page, you can get a pretty good information on uh, the Gmail API overview, such as uh, what methods and classes that uh, this API supports. And here are some of the use cases that might give an idea on creating some projects. And when it comes to the daily usage, with Google Gmail API, there's no limit on how many API codes you can make per day. So basically, you can make unlimited API codes. Here, let me check something. I want to uh, navigate to authorization scopes. So this, the other thing I want to talk about is the, uh, is the scopes. Scopes are basically different level permissions and for uh, different API services. So if you want to give your application or program the ability to uh, update, modify, or delete a user's uh, Gmail labels, they can provide this uh, gmail.labels scope. If you want to uh, change the user's Gmail setting, then you want, they want to use this uh, gmail.settings.basis scope. The mail.google.com scope gives you uh, gives your program full permission to do just about anything on a user's uh, Gmail account. All right, so that's the overview when it comes to Gmail API. Now let's talk about how we can uh, use Gmail API in Python. So here, let me see. On the reference page, and here's, uh, actually not this one, it should be on the guys. And you want to go to Python, so on the quick starts. So first, you will need to have Python installed on your PC. And next, you want to enable the Gmail API service. We can do that by either go to the uh, Google Cloud Console. Let me go into my uh, console homepage. And the other option is you can come down to the uh, guides page. If you click on enable the Gmail API, and that will also enable the Gmail API service. But I think uh, right now they ask you to create a new project. So, so I'm going to cancel this out. I'll go straight to my uh, Google Cloud Platform homepage. So here you want to choose a project. I'm going to assume that you already have a project created or you know how to uh, at least set up your Google Cloud Platform project. So choose a project that you want to use and go to navigation menu. And here you want to go down to APIs and services and go to library. And here you want to search for Gmail API library. And click on that. And here you want to make sure that the Gmail API service is enabled for the project. Now let's go back to the home page. That's the first requirement. The second requirement is you'll need to either provide a credential uh, JSON file. The first method is using an API key. And however, when you are using an API key to access different uh, Gmail API services, some of the API services won't let you because they require you to use OAuth 2.0 authentication protocol. And that's the method that I prefer, and that's also the method that I use. If you don't have an OAuth 2.0 uh, credential created, you can uh, click on this Create Credentials and just create a new uh, OAuth Client ID. And here I would have two created. And if you don't have an OAuth Client ID JSON file, then you can click on this uh, arrow icon and download the uh, Client JSON file. And save the file. And here I'm going to navigate to my uh, folder. It should be on the uh, Gmail API tutorial. 
and we can name the JSON file however we want. So I'm going to name this file client, uh, just client.json. Oh, and this other thing you need. So this, uh, you need to install the Google Client Library by using this uh, command. I'll post the commands uh, in the description below. So you can just copy and paste. And here's a, a quick uh, Python script. And this is the script I use to authenticate my account information when it comes to using different Google API service. Except that I took this script and modified the, uh, the script into a function to allow me to simplify a uh, different Google API service object creation process. Now let's go into uh, our Python editor and here I'll just give you a quick demo on how to access the Gmail API and do something with it. So here let me go back to my browser. I'll use this user's resource that get profile method for demonstration. So first we want to uh, import the create service function from a google.py file that uh, I created and you can download the google.py file source code from the link in the description below. So here we need to change the import statement to from. So from google module, I want to import a function called create service. Next, we need to provide all the required information to create a Gmail API service instance. I'll name uh, the first variable client uh, file. And the file path is going to be uh, client.json. So since I'm working within the same uh, directory, so I don't need to provide the folder path. We also need to uh, provide the API name, which is the API that I want to use. And the API name is going to be Gmail API version. So sometimes when an API service has multiple versions, such as uh, version one, version two, and you need to uh, specify the version that you want to use. And with Gmail, uh, currently there's only one version. And the scopes. Scopes is going to be a list. And let me go back to the uh, scopes homepage. Right here. So choose off scopes. I'm going to grab this uh, scope value since this one just gives me permission to everything. So I'll copy to the scopes list option and make sure that you include the four slash at the end. Now we can create our Gmail service object by using the create service function. And we need to provide the client file. API name, API version, and the scopes. And here let me change my virtual environment to uh, Google APIs. Now I'm going to select uh, this code block and I'm going to just run it. And client, client files now. Oh, so here's a typo. Let me try again. So when line eight, I'll choose this uh, service creation statement is executed. If you don't have a token file uh, created in your uh, directory, a token file is basically the uh, authenticated uh, information stored in a file. If that file does not exist, then uh, we need to choose an account which we want to give, uh, which we want to grant permission to. And here I'm going to choose my uh, Learn Data Analysis account. So I'll choose that account. And most of you guys is going to see this page. This app isn't verified. And that just means that uh, your app or your project hasn't get verified by Google's uh, reviewers. And that's okay. So in this case, we're going to click on events and click on this link to proceed. Now I'm going to get a dialog pop-up. And since I'm providing this uh, mail.google.com scope, so here in the description, it's going to basically shows uh, want to get uh, pretty much every single permission to this program or to this app. I'm going to click on allow and allow again. 
And once the authentication uh, is finished, you're going to see this message. The authentication flow has complete. You may close this window. Let me close this uh, tab. Let me go back. Now we have created our uh, Gmail API service instant. And if you want to see what methods or attributes available, so here we're going to use the the function dir. It will provide the uh, service object. Oh, I noticed that I have another typo. It should be service. Here, let me uh, let me create the service function again. Noticing that the second time when around line eight, I'm only getting this uh, Gmail service created successfully message. And that's because when we authenticate our account or our app, we create this token file for a uh, Gmail API service. And the create service function, this function will check the token file first to see uh, if the authentication information is already available. So that way we don't need to keep granting permission to the app. Now I'm going to use the dir function to print the attributes and methods of the service object. Now if we take a look at this list, so if we just look at, uh, let's see, users, here let me go back to the uh, documentation. If we look at the uh, resources, basically every single class or uh, service always starts from users. And the uh, users that get profiles method, so let's go into that. The get profile method will return a current user's Gmail profile. And a lot of time when you uh, use a website, and a lot of time you're going to see if you want to verify your account using Gmail or Facebook. And that's the method that most uh, web application uses to verify user's uh, account information. So here if I uh, insert the service object that uses, and I'll reference the gets profile method let me check the uh, requirement. So we just need to provide the uh, user ID. And the user ID is going to be the user's email address. Or we can provide the special value me to be used to indicate the authenticated user. So inside the get profile method, I'll insert the parameter name, user ID. I'll insert the value me. And we need to uh, insert the execute at the end to run the uh, API request. Now if I run line 10, and that's going to print a dictionary. And within the dictionary object, so here we have our email address, uh, the total message in our email account, the address total, and the last email message uh, history ID. Alright, so this is someone to cover in this video. Do something to get you started on how to uh, work with Gmail API in Python. And if you have any question, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.